Hi guys, Matilda here. So today's video is going to be sort of a current favorites video. It's not exactly things I've discovered this month, but it's things I've been loving and I've been using for a long time for some of them. And I just thought I'd share those with you guys. I thought you'd like to see that. So the very first product, I think I'm gonna deal with I have so many things, okay, not that many. And excuse me if this video is going to be a tad bit longer than usual, but I just felt like I needed to show you guys a lot of things. And yeah, so I'm going to start with skincare and makeup. So the very first thing that I have been loving is a small tube of aloe vera gel. And this is from Luron. For some reason, I've always believed that the gel is supposed to be green, but I guess, I don't know, it still works fine. I love, love, love using this gel. And instead of using my Neutrogena pink grapefruit something oil-free moisturizer, I've just been using this gel in place of it. And I love how smooth my skin is feeling. I feel like I like exactly where I'm at skin-wise. Of course, a lot can be improved on, but I just feel like this has been such a good addition to my skincare routine and it just leaves me feeling so refreshed and cool and it just has this soothing effect that I guess aloe vera gel is known for and it does moisturize my face without leaving me feeling very dry or very oily so it's a perfect blend of exactly what you want and I have combination skin so I just love 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 this product then I'm going to be sharing with you guys a mask I have been loving. So this is the VLCC Orange and Water Lily Peel Off Mask and this thing is painful as hell. I swear to God, the first time I put this on my face, I think I, I just wanted to try it out. And it wasn't even expensive, I think it went for $3 and this tube of aloe vera gel was like a dollar which is quite affordable but this was for, I bought this for three dollars maybe four dollars and I remember the first time I put it on it was so fucking painful I think it's what it would feel like to have like a peel off blackhead mask or something like that it just really really sticks to your skin and getting it off is a bitch and I feel maybe it's cause I don't shave my face so I do have facial hair like very small hairs that maybe you cannot see but once this mask clings to them it is so painful to get off but despite that I feel like every time I use it my skin feels firmer it feels smoother it feels so tightened and so good it's such a good feeling after I use this mask I use it in moderation I only use it twice a week maximum because I feel like all that pulling is not good for your skin but it does leave me so firm and refreshed and I definitely definitely do like this a lot then as you guys know I'm a diehard beauty formulas fan I love their products they're quite affordable they're quite nice and I feel like they cater to the skin without without doing too much they're just amazing and i have been using their cucumber cucumber their cucumber and avocado facial scrub i've been using this twice a week maybe thrice to exfoliate and remove all the dead skin cells and i tell you this thing smells really good i am a huge fan of cucumber as you will see because my next product is cucumber based but i just love the smell of this and every time i use it and i rinse my face it does feel smoother it feels like it's done its job and i look i look fresher i look rejuvenated if that makes sense i look more awake and i just love the fact that it's so affordable and it does such an amazing job and you actually get more than what you pay for it's so beneficial to the skin and i feel amazing every time i use this thing i i genuinely love this so much so as i said i'm a diehard beauty formulas fan and i use their face wash their cleansing wipes and this has been an ultimate favorite this are the cucumber cleansing facial wipes and oh my god this thing smell like cucumber it's like putting cucumber on your face they're so cooling and refreshing and they do get the makeup off a lot of it comes off with one wipe and it's well value for your money i got this for two dollars two dollars max 
and they're just so so good this definitely has to be my favorite the cucumber ones i just love how they smell and i use them every single day to remove like my makeup or even at the end of the day even if i'm not wearing makeup i just run it all over my face and it gets rid of all the oils they're just so good they leave my skin feeling so smooth and soft and they get rid of the makeup well not really a hundred percent but they get rid of the majority of your makeup so you just need to go in with something else and you're good to go so if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i absolutely love this product and this is the oil control facial wash from you guessed it beauty formulas sorry that's my phone um, from beauty formulas and this thing i'm telling you i am almost out because i've been using it Constantly this year, this has been my go-to facial wash. I've been interchanging it with the Neutrogena one, but I genuinely do like this better and it just gets rid of all the dirt. Like even if I don't go into the wipe before and I just use it to cleanse my face, the water turns brown. It gets rid of all my makeup without having to scrub so hard. Well, I'd say... I'd say the smell is not exactly the best. It does smell like witch hazel and it does have witch hazel but I feel like it's so good especially for oily skin, combination skin. If you tend to get acne, this is definitely something you should consider trying because it, it's just amazing. I feel like it controls my oil. I don't have as much oil as I did ever since I started using this cleanser and I just feel like it's, it's something everyone should have. And Funny thing is, I got this for $2, so it's definitely, definitely very, very affordable. So, yeah, I've been loving this, and I probably will be using it for a long time to come. Then, still on makeup, um, I have been using the L'Oreal Micellar Water, and I remember I was looking for Micellar Water because I saw Jackie Aina use it to remove like her lashes and her makeup and her skin was so good and she uses the simple one but I got my hands on the L'Oreal one I got this from my mom and this thing is amazing once you go in with your cleanser you just use a cotton pad and take your micellar water drench it in micellar water and run it all over your face and trust me gets rid of all the remaining makeup once you use this you are sure that your face has no traces of makeup it's super super clean which is something i feel is important especially if like me you wear a lot of makeup at the end of the day i like knowing that my skin is completely free and able to breathe and take a break from all the makeup so this definitely ensures that the job is done i don't know the price of this one but I, I don't know but I'll check and I'll link it in the description bar down below but if you don't have micellar water definitely get some and this L'Oreal one is so so good I love it so much I use it every day the next things I'm going to be talking about are makeup related and I'm going to start with this beauty treats you thought I was gonna say formulas huh <laughs> but this is a beauty treats lip scrub and it is in the flavor vanilla bin and this thing smells really good. I love vanilla. It's my favorite scent. There's nothing else in the world that can compare to my vanilla. And I love the taste. I love the smell. And this is so good for exfoliating your lips. Especially if you wear a lot of matte lipsticks. Which I tend to do. They tend to dry out my lips a lot. And I could get flakes and peeled skin. Which is not attractive. And it makes lipstick just not look good. They're very uncomfortable and just not attractive to look at but I just go in with this lip scrub and I've had this for quite a while and I just use it I scrub my lips with it and then I go in with a warm towel and I just wipe it off the one thing it does do is it tends to be very sticky so it's like an oil kind of thing so once you apply it, you could get oily but I feel like it's definitely value for your money and it's it's a really good lip scrub it does a really good job it exfoliates my lips and leaves them feeling very very smooth and soft and I love this lip scrub so much so it's no secret that I love the NYX lip creams and I feel like these are the best kind of formulas well not exactly the best but the ones from the ones I've tried this is really really good if you want that kind of lipstick that's not matte but it's not runny or it's not a cream lipstick they're kind of in the middle and I have four of these I'm currently actually wearing the Transylvania and I love these lip creams. They're so soft. So once you put them on, they leave your lips 
feeling really really smooth and I just like that feeling they're not sticky as you can see they're not sticky it dries semi matte which I love and I feel like I'm going to be building on this collection I feel like I need every shade there is I just love 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 this lip creams and for the price they are so good I think they go for six seven dollars each and it's not that bad then I know if you've been watching my videos of late I have switched my concealers and I used to use the LA girl and I just got over them I'm not really against them it's not that I'll never use them I may use them to clean up my brow or things like that but I just felt it was getting a bit too thick and it was hard to blend and sticky and for me the consistency wasn't really working so I decided to try the NARS radiant creamy concealer and this is in the shade Amand and for my under eyes oh my god this thing is amazing it is way pricier than the LA girl that I will admit but the coverage is so good and it has a wand which for me is amazing I mean I've seen a lot of high-end concealers with wands but I just feel like the fact that it has a wand makes it so easy to apply and it blends beautifully I am not kidding this thing blends so smoothly and it covers exactly what you want it to cover it doesn't leave that sticky feeling and once you set it it does not move this I definitely feel like this is an amazing product all the only regret I have is that I didn't get this sooner it is definitely now a staple of mine I cannot wear my makeup without putting this on it is amazing it is godsend I promise you <laughs> Then I'm going to move on to my scent and this is the scent I've been loving lately and this is a Hugo Boss uh, The scent that is what it is called, but I just love how strong How strong the scent is yet very very feminine. It's It's so sweet and so sexy if I would describe this I would say this is definitely sexy and I just love how it smells. I do wear very very heavy perfumes. I am not one to go for subtle. I just love entering a room and everyone's like, oh my god, who is that smelling so good? So this is definitely something, oh, it's so sweet. It's such a sweet feminine scent. I can't describe it. I feel like it's just such a beautiful scent. If beautiful was a word to describe something, this would be it it's definitely on the stronger side i just but i just love how it smells and the packaging is so cute and i actually got this in a bundle with the hugo boss the scent this is a body lotion and when i use this together my god i smell like heaven i do not i'm not joking with you i smell like actual heaven and i love 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 smelling good and i feel like every lady loves to smell good this combination is a match made in heaven. I just love this too so much. I just love them so much. Then I just thought I'd quickly mention the TV shows I'm currently watching. So I'm watching The Blacklist and that is a series that was recommended by you guys. And oh my god am I hooked. I just love the fact that uh, Fugitive is in cahoots with the FBI it doesn't make any sense to me and he's so smart and the main character kind of gives me some godfather vibes and he's so menacing and so strict and tough but he has a soft spot for this girl it's just such an amazing storyline and each story I'm, I'm very into crime and conspiracy and all those kind of things and I feel like this is a perfect balance of crime and conspiracy like it's it's just a fusion of the two which has me hooked so I definitely do love that series thank you to everyone who recommended it I am loving it and I've just discovered the Lumineers they are a rock band and their music is so good I actually came across them a few months ago I listened to Ophelia and I loved the song and then I discovered them on YouTube and oh my god their songs are amazing and currently I am loving their song Ophelia which is quite an old tune and sleep on the floor that tune just makes me feel some type of way It's a very nice calm Very soothing tune that I love I have it on replay 
I just love it so much. I love the Lumineers. They are definitely my current favorite band. And I hope that does not change. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I feel like I cannot continue because this video will be so, so long. But let me know if you guys would love to see videos like this. I really did enjoy talking about my current favorites. I just feel so happy now because it's just things that make me so happy. Yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you want to see more of these. But that's where I'm going to end this for today. Hopefully, I see you in my next one. Until then, bye guys. Sorry for my phone. <laughs>